Occasionally you find an image you'd like to use but you'd like to add labels to it so that it's more clear to the learner what he or she is looking at. So here I have an appendix and I'd like to add a couple of labels to it. To do that in Word, to add any label or any other layering to an image, you have to put the image first on what Word calls a drawing canvas. So to get to the drawing canvas you go to the insert tab and then you go to shapes and new drawing canvas is the option on the bottom so now I have a new drawing canvas I'm going to cut my illustration control X to cut it go back to the canvas and control V to paste it onto the canvas then I'm going to add labels to it to do that we go back to the insert tab then we go to text box and then just choose a simple draw text box here at the bottom. Let's do that. And let's add the first label. I'm going to resize that. And I'm also going to move my drawing over here and put the label on the other side of it. To move something, you're going to look for that four-headed arrow. I'm not sure that's visible on this recording. So now I have a label with a box around it. I really don't want a box around it. I want it to be, I want that box to be invisible or visible only to me while I'm working on it. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go up here to shape outline and there are two ways to do this. You can either choose a white outline so that that box just disappears into the background or you can choose no outline. Now it'll still appear with a box around it while you're working on it but that won't appear in the final illustration. So now we have our first label. Let's just copy this to create our second label. That's the easiest way to do it because we want the labels to look similar. So we do control V we're going to change the font because it, it didn't pick up the right font so we're going to go up here to home and it looks like Calibri to me so let's go with that yes and let's change it to we want it to say appendix now and we'll move it where we want it on our drawing over here that's pretty close now we want to add lead lines to these labels. They can't just sit next to the illustration, they have to point, right? So we're going to go back to our insert tab and we're going to choose shapes and now we just need a line. So we choose the line and it's going to point from this label to our drawing. Then we do that again with this label. Again, insert shapes and then the line is right here and we connect that to the illustration so it looks great except that these lines are blue and I want them to be black so I'm going to go up here and change them to black there's one now we'll change the other to black and we have our finished drawing. The problem is if I try to move this the labels and the lead lines will stay in place and only the illustration will move so at this point the best option is just to uh, take a screen capture and so I'll do that right now screen capture then I'm gonna go down to another page screen capture then I'm going to take my picture tools and I'm just going to crop that screen capture and I would do the other sides like that and what I would end up with is a static image that I can actually cut with the control X again paste okay, and I can paste it and I can move it around and the labels and the image move together and then I can resize it by clicking and dragging the corner just like any other image and there we have it and that's about the right size to go into our storyboard